Hello friends, this is Ravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering Tutorial by Ravan. So in this video lecture, I will going to explain you earthquake analysis or seismic analysis of multi-story building by using ETAP software. So I was already modeled my multi-story building in my previous video. Please follow that video for the modeling of multi-story building by using ETAP software. Okay, this is the problem statement for earthquake or uh, seismic analysis of the building. Basic parameters considered for analysis are number of stories are G plus X, nothing but seven stories. Grade of concrete is M30 grade, grade of reinforced steel is uh, FE 500 grade steel, okay. Dimensions of the beam are 230 mm by 450 mm, okay. Dimensions of the column are 450 by 600 mm, Thick thickness of the slab is 120 mm, okay. Number of lines in x direction are 6, okay. Number of lines in y direction are 5, okay. Bottom story height is 4 meter, remaining story height is 3 meter, live load is 5 kN per meter square, dead load is 2 kN, okay. Density of concrete is 25 kN per meter cube, okay. RCC design code is IS456-2000, steel design code is IS800-2007, okay. Earthquake analysis code is uh, 1893-2002, part from seismic zone is example zone 2 or zone 5. So let us consider for this design, I will consider zone 5, okay. Site type is 2 okay importance factor is 1.5 response reduction factor is 5 okay damping ratio is 5 percentage class structure is c i will open my is 1893 2000 code it was already downloaded here is 1893 2002 code okay i will open 1893 code okay this is my is 1893 code so before going to earthquake analysis we need to know the parameters which are related to earthquake analysis okay let's go to page number 5 directly this is the map of the india showing seismic zones so in this a blue color mark indicates your zone 2 area okay so yellow color indicates your zone 3 area and green color indicates this is uh, zone 4 area as well as this is zone 5 area so after this go to page number 16 directly it will be consisting of table of zone factors then table 2 okay so class 6.4.2 from is 1893-2002 code it will be consisting of four types of seismic zones in india zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 zone 5 okay so seismic intensity are low for zone 2 moderate for zone 3 severe for zone 4 as well as very severe for zone 5 okay so z value so z value zone factor value is 0 0.10 for zone 2 0 0.16 for zone 3 0 0.24 for zone 4 as well as uh, 0 0.36 for zone 5 okay so this zone vector was divided by areas of uh, indian map okay so just go to annex in page number 35 so this is the annex okay so in this annex consisting of zone factors for important towns okay so let us consider uh, Allahabad will be consisting of zone 2 with factor of 0 0.10 okay Calcutta Calcutta will be consisting of zone 3 0 0.16 is the factor so Delhi will be consisting of zone 4 with factor of 0 0.24 okay so Hyderabad Hyderabad comes under zone 2 0 0.10 is the factor okay these are the main uh, zone factor values z values of Indian cities okay so this annex 7 uh, as well as zone factor z as well as site type important for earthquake analysis of building okay i have one more document which is uh, related to earthquake okay if you need this documentation just comment me your mail id in the comment box i will definitely mail this uh, documentation along with this documentation i will mail you is for 1893 2002 code and uh, problem statement for this model okay this is the uh, earthquake analysis documentation it will be consisting of uh, behavior of earthquake and different types of zones in india so this is the different types of uh, seismic zones in india so let's start with the design okay open etap software etaps okay so i was already modeled my multi-story building right so i will open that model okay go to file open okay okay multi-story building modeling please follow my previous video for modeling of multi-story building after this we need to go to define definitely directly go to define so in that go to static load cases here i was already defined dead load as well as live load right in addition to this i will i need to give earthquake load right so uh, let us assume earthquake load in x direction eqx let us assume okay type is quick okay so in this we need to select as per 1893 2002 code okay i click on add new load again change earthquake x to earthquake y okay again add new load okay select earthquake load in x direction just click on modify lateral load we need to change these parameters as per our problem statement okay this is my problem statement right so as per the problem statement we need to change this so x direction right so zone factor this zone 0 0.10 0 0.16 0 0.24 0 0.36 okay zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 zone 5 okay so let us consider zone 5 0 0.36 okay soil type is medium right second side type 2 okay importance factor importance factor is 1.5 right 
so go to change 1 to 1.5 is the impedance factor as per our assumption okay response reduction factor is uh, r is 5 okay so this is the we need to keep this time period as the program calculated okay click on ok button after this go to change earthquake load in y direction we click on modify lateral load change x direction to y direction again so this is a 0.36 value same okay this important factor is also 1.5 okay so just click on ok button after this okay just click on open ok button okay so after this we need to assign this earthquake load to our building okay so just select all building control a okay go to assign okay in this we need to select the shell area loads in this uniform load okay change the dead load to earthquake load in x direction click on add to existing loads in this we need to enter the uniform load value the load value should be 50 percentage of your live load so in the problem statement uh, we are taking live load as 5 right so in this we will take 2.5 2.5 okay so change the direction from gravity to global x okay click on ok button so after this select all building again for assigning earthquake load in y direction go to assign okay so select uh, shell area load again uniform change earthquake load in x direction to earthquake load in y direction add to existing loads this 2.5 will be constant for y direction also global y direction click ok button okay so, so after this we need to give the supports so for that go to select your uh, bottom story okay go to assign go to select uh, join point restraints select your fixture support click on ok button so after this we need to assign the diaphragms for my building right go to select control a again okay go to assign join point diaphragms okay select d1 click ok okay so go to again uh, set building view option for displaying a diaphragm for my 3d view okay go to click on diaphragm extend apply to all windows click ok button okay this is the diaphragm for my uh, plan view as well as 3d view okay after this we will directly go to analyze click on set analysis option okay set dynamic parameters as 6 click ok button click ok again go to analyze check models okay we need to check that whether they, uh, the model will be consisting of errors or not click on ok button okay it was checked right model has been checked no warning messages this cancel this button okay analyze again run and click on run analysis it will take uh, two, 10 seconds after this analysis the deflection of the, your building will be there for your dead load so we need to change this dead load to earthquake load right for that go to display okay show deform shape click on show deform shapes change the dead load to earthquake load in x direction eqx okay click ok button okay so this is the deflection of our building due to presence of earthquake load in x direction i will show this deflection in uh, plan elevation view elevation click on ok one button okay this is the deflection of our building due to presence of load in x direction i will show the deflection in y direction also for that again go to display okay book show deform shape okay so change the uh, load earthquake x to earthquake y click on ok button the deflection of our building due to presence of earthquake load in y direction go to elevation again okay select a so this is our deflection in y direction so after this we need to see the results which are related to earthquake load right so this for this go to display click on show tables values so in this we need to select to display okay story drift value okay reactions in this we need to select to support reactions okay building output we need to uh, uh, select uh, shear story shear okay so go to select loads or combinations so in this we need to select earthquake load in x direction let us consider earthquake load in x direction click ok button click ok button again so it will display your uh, results for only earthquake load in x direction okay this is the deflection of a building due to presence of earthquake load in x direction again story here this is the lateral load okay so building was not displayed in uh, up and down direction so that's why the lateral load value is zero for each and every story so this is the uh, shear force in x direction shear force in y direction okay building traction move bending moment in x direction bending moment in y direction after this go to support reactions okay this is the support reaction values can okay button after this go to design okay go to concrete frame design okay check concrete structure for design so click on any one of the column just right click on it okay this is the summary about the design of so after this uh, click on flex your details this is the flex your details design results okay shear details design results this is the shear details design results join shear b by c details envelope these are the general design okay i was already explained this uh, design in my analysis and designing of multi-story building so that's why i will i will skip this okay so again go to uh, display okay show member forces 
okay so frame uh, spandrel forces okay so change the uh, the load combination to at click load in x direction static okay axial force just click on okay button this is the axial force value diagram okay again go to display again go to member forces again go to frame okay in that change axial to shear force so this is the shear force diagram for my building multi story building okay again go to display again go to show member force again uh, uh, frame okay so this is the torsion of the uh, so this is the torsion of the building okay after that go to display so show uh, member force frames okay so this is the uh, uh, bending movement diagram for my multi story building so this is the selection of our building or earthquake analysis due to presence of earthquake load okay so this deflection we are observing that uh, this uh, building was not stable in uh, zone 5 condition so we need to design the uh, earthquake resistance structure so in my upcoming videos i will explain you earthquake resistance structure any earthquake analysis or uh, seismic analysis of building by using a type software or any other software you need to definitely have is 1893 code so on another one documentation is uh, documentation which is related to earthquake seismic okay so if you need this documentation comment me your mail id in the comment box i will definitely mail you thank you for watching